Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at OS Atlas, which is an AI-powered GUI agent. AI-powered GUI agent is an artificial intelligence system that interacts with GUI or graphical user interface in the same way humans do by interpreting and responding to visual elements such as buttons, menus and icons. This technology has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with these web elements and other devices. This is where this new model called as OS Atlas comes into play. We are going to install this model locally and then we will see how it works. It comes in two variants, 7 billion and 4 billion. We are going to go with the 7 billion one. OS Atlas is a model that serves as a brain behind the GUI agent. It is designed to excel in GUI grounding and out of distribution tasks, which involve understanding and interacting with unfamiliar interfaces. If you go back to its home page and you see that, for example, if you want to identify an element on a web page, this model is able to do that as shown in this small intro video where not only it is tackling the elements on a web page but also on your mobile screen and you can see that with the help of these you can build an autonomous agent which is more grounded into your web elements which really uh, makes it quite um, easy to develop these agent which will have more sophisticated and user-friendly human computer interactions and you can even minus the human from this whole loop if agent is autonomous enough so let's try to get this os atlas base 7 billion installed on our local system and then we will try it out with one of the images to see how it works before i show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a GPU on a very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy masked compute. Okay, sorry, let me now create a virtual environment here. The virtual environment is not mandatory, but highly recommended i normally do it with conda so let me do that shouldn't take too long and now let's install all the prerequisites and especially we need to focus on transformers and you see at the very end when real utils because this model is based on the coin vision language which we already have covered on the channel and that is one of the best vision languages out there at the moment in open source all the prerequisites are done. Let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. Let's first download the model. And we are just going to go with this 7 billion one. So let me run it. And the model has started downloading. And while it downloads, let me take you to its home page because it's quite interesting to really go through this um, project page because they have get some good information there for example if you look at this diagram let me make it slightly bigger so if you look at this diagram this is an overview of function of its uh, atlas so you see it there is a grounding mode where there is a planner and then it is taking the action on the image this is out of distribution which i was referring to earlier and it could work on linux windows mac or any sort of edge device there and then it is it can assume the agentic mode where it will be performing tasks autonomously as per your use case and this is the whole framework which is covering all of these dimensions here and then they have some abstract which you can read through now they also have shown how they have done the training which is quite, quite interesting as they have used it on, it on diverse platforms 13 million elements they have selected from different graphical user interfaces which is quite huge so which is very very i think some real hard work has gone into this and then they have done some sort of uh, uh, you know benchmarking here which you can read through and they could you know of course you can't you just have to take this benchmarking with 
grain of salt because it could it depends upon the data they use and the questions they are answering but all in all uh, one thing i'm quite impressed about this model is that they have done a lot of hard work in terms of training which is really good stuff okay so let's wait for this model to get downloaded it seems there are four shards of it and the model is loaded as you can see with all the config and tokenizer let me show you how it works so this is a code which has been provided by them now if you look at it it's very simple code we have a chat uh, prompt template in which we are giving it an image and i will shortly show you the image and the question i'm asking it around that image is that uh, let me show you the image by the way so this is the image which is a wikipedia wikidata page where we are asking it that in this ui screenshot what is the position of the element corresponding to the command switch language of current page with bounding box so this is what it is going to show us and then we are using the usual processor from uh, hugging face to apply this chat template which we just saw and tokenizer is converting into numerical representation and then we are converting this uh, um, tokenized version into model compatible one model is generating the output we are decoding it back and then printing the output here so this is what we are doing and these are the coordinates which are used by the agentic software to do our gui manipulation and management so let me run it and there you go so it has given us the coordinates of that on the uh, page there which is really amazing also let me show you the vram consumption of it so it is consuming just over 22 gig of vram out of my 48 gb of vram and i think for a gui agent for this accuracy it is quite good in my opinion also not only this but i already have covered a lot of other models and frameworks where you which you can use in order to do this GUI agentic work for example this show UI 2 billion is also quite good and if you don't have that much VRAM which I just show, um, just shown you you can even go with the 4 billion one if you like similarly you can identify and pinpoint any element on the GUI so this is this is what we saw for the switch language one for example I want to pinpoint this login all you need to do is to go here and then say that in this UI screenshot which is the position of uh, corresponding to the command login let me run it real time you can see the speed of it it is running there you go it has identified the whole image it has done so CR I believe and then it has done this coordinating for the bounding box box start and box end so really really good stuff I think quite efficient and quite faster model vram consumption is a bit higher in my opinion but i think that is um, fine as long as it is accurate enough so that's it let me know what you think about it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching